This is Jason from Leaky, and today we're talking about car insurance for new drivers as part of a uh, ongoing insurance tips and tricks series we're going to try and do. Uh, we get this question quite often, um, and it's never really fun to talk about because, uh, in short, car insurance for new drivers is really difficult. Uh, I think most of this has to do with the fact that most new drivers are teenagers uh, who have never really been known for being responsible or level-headed uh, from an insurance company's point of view. Um, you know, it's also really difficult because motor vehicles are leading cause of death people ages 4 through 34, which is a pretty big range. Uh, the reason that new drivers are, are so hard to uh, get insurance for, though, is, is that there's no driving record because they've never driven before. There's no credit history because usually... So they can't look at what their claims history is like or anything like that. Um, so... Uh, the end result of this is that uh, premiums are a good deal higher. So, we'll get right to it. The cheapest option, uh, if you're looking for insurance for a new driver, is you're going to want to put them on an existing policy. Uh, if you're a parent, this would mean that you put your own child on your policy. Uh, you know, We suggest that even if you want your child to be financially responsible in their own way, it's generally better to have them added to your own policy because it's cheaper, uh, and then just have them pay you directly rather than paying the insurance company. Um, so, parents, that's the tip. Now, the warning is it will be expensive. Um, in some cases, it may double. Don't let that freak you out. Here's, here's why it might. So, it depends on a number of factors. Um, your driving record, so if you are a good driver, typically adding a new driver will make that cheaper. Um, it depends on the type of car that you give the new driver. Uh, obviously, a Ferrari versus a Volvo station wagon will be priced differently. It all depends where you live, with urban areas being priced higher than uh, rural ones. And it also depends on the gender of the new driver. Uh, what with uh, men being uh, statistically more risky than, than women. Um, so, why, why will your prices go up so much? Um, the unfortunate part of it is statistics. So, new drivers, not so very good at driving. Um, According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, in the first six months, a new driver is eight times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash than a average driver. Uh, that declines pretty quickly, but even in the first year, rounding out the first year, they're still two to three times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash. Um, this risk lessens over time, um, but according to the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, a new driver who has had an accident is still 50% more likely to have another one. So from an insurance perspective, this gets really expensive. Um, so it will get cheaper over time. Uh, once you get out of the first year, uh, most insurers have a surcharge that they charge the people that have been licensed for less than a year. So at least once you get out of that first year, it should be cheaper. Um, and then as you start looking at, if you're going by average ages, um, you know, moving from 16 to 18, you can expect prices to be about 10% lower. Um, now, okay, so the important parts of how to lower this. Um, so obviously the first part of it, and I would argue the largest part of it, is the type of car. Uh, I you know, made a flippant remark earlier about um, you know, a Ferrari versus a Volvo station wagon, but this is actually pretty apt, because what you're going to look for is something that's boring, safe, low horsepower, and lots of doors. Um, you'll want to remember, though, that just because a car is cheap does not mean that it's cheap to insure. Uh, this is because insurance companies take a lot of factors into account, and, you know, two cars may cost the same, but they might have drastically different repair costs, maintenance costs. They'll let you try different options for cars, swap them in and out, uh, and you'll get a better idea of what's a good car to insure. So, number two would be a good student. Uh, so, you know, we've poured through over 20,000 insurance documents to build Leaky, and I can say that Almost every, if not every, insurance company offers a discount to full-time students if you're a good student. Uh, this is sometimes 5 to 10 percent, which can add up to several hundred dollars a year. Generally, you need to have a B-plus average, but if you can do that, by all means do it. The third part kind of goes without saying, but you need to drive safe as a new driver. Uh, you know, having uh, an accident or a ticket gets very expensive very quickly, especially for new drivers because it does set a precedent for the rest of your you know, driving career, if you will. Um, even just one ticket could increase your premiums by 60%, and when you start looking at how it'll take three years for that ticket to drop off of your record, 
you know, you could pay a thousand dollars or more for that ticket before it's all said and done. So drive safe, yeah, obviously if you can. Um, right. So the last one, driving courses. So most people are really familiar with driver's ed purely from a uh, you know you got to take it, you got to go to driver's ed, so it didn't go on your record. But you can also take them voluntarily, and there are a number that are catered specifically towards uh, teenagers or new drivers. Um, and what we we've, we've seen is uh, especially in California, there's the most popular one is called Teen Smart. Um, but if you already have car insurance, um, you can follow up with the insurer, and they generally support at least one program that you can go through and then you know educate your teen and that sometimes drops their premiums by about 10% a year which is about several hundred dollars um, so those are the four tips um, drive a you know cheap to insure car you know boring safe be a good student drive safe take driving courses um, and that's about the best you can do and over time as you start reaching kind of the mid twenties uh, you'll no longer be penalized for being a new licensed driver. Uh, if you're you know more curious about uh, either adding a new driver or a teenager to your policy and how it will affect your insurance rates, uh, you should check out Leaky.com's auto insurance comparison tool. Uh, we let you swap in uh, new drivers, new cars, change existing cars, um, all sorts of things, and it'll give you guidance from the top insurers in the U.S. Basically, to allow you to make the best possible decision for your new driver's license. Um, best of luck and safe driving.